Good morning to the great Kirk Elementary School students. I am excited. This is another week, another chance for us to learn, everybody. We're going to get a chance to learn, do our work so that we improve. We're going to get smarter this week, stronger this week, have better character this week. We're not going to give up and we're going to serve our community. So listen, I want you to get cranked up and excited about the work that your teachers have prepared for you. They have some great lessons and students. It's important that you come back from recess on time, that you always come back from lunch on time, that after 1.15, that you do your asynchronous work, that you're doing your homework, those special assignments. Your teacher might send you to Clever to go on, whether it's Khan Academy, whether it's iReady, whatever the activities they're sending you to, make sure you do it every time because it's only going to make you better and stronger. Remember, this is Hispanic Heritage Month. And so I started to take you to Brazil, but I think I'm going to take you to Ecuador, some islands off the coast of Ecuador, the Galapagos Islands, and they have some incredible animals there. So watch the video and then I'll be back. We're setting sail to the Galapagos, home to some of the wildest animals on Earth. Get ready. Here's Awesome Eight's greatest animals of the Galapagos. Number eight, penguins in warm waters? While most other penguins live near the South Pole, Galapagos penguins are the only penguins on Earth who live along the equator. And they've found creative ways to adapt to their island homes. It's always good to hang with your friends. Number seven, English naturalist Charles Darwin called marine iguanas disgusting, clumsy lizards. Despite their looks, these reptiles have a unique adaptation. They're the only iguanas that can swim and forage underwater. Don't worry about their frightening appearance. They pretty much only eat algae. Number six, Galapagos tortoises live longer than any other animal with a backbone. They can live up to 152 years old. Even in old age, these tortoises still got it. And don't worry about chasing them around the island. Galapagos tortoises rest up to 16 hours a day. Number five, like the rest of us on the beach, Galapagos sea lions love swimming and sunbathing. They might take a dip to catch fish, but these beach bums prefer to hang close to shore. Catch some rays, big fella. Number four, the whale shark is big, real big. It's the largest shark on the planet. They can weigh up to 40 tons. They might look scary, but these sharks only eat teeny tiny critters like krill and plankton. You can even swim with them. Number three, blue-footed boobies get their name from, you guessed it, their blue feet. In fact, blue feet is a point of pride for these birds. Males with very blue feet are more likely to mate. But why blue? The feet naturally turn blue as the booby eats more fish. So, the better they eat, the bluer the feet. Number two, Sally Lightfoot crabs are coastal scavengers eating anything they find on the coastline. They're a big help to the Galapagos ecosystem as they help keep the shore clean. Thanks, neighbor. The mama crab carries eggs on her stomach until they hatch underwater. Number one, the Galapagos also has the amazing hammerhead shark. These sharks can swim with hundreds of other sharks in a giant school. I guess you could call them classmates. Hammerhead sharks are one of the few animals who can get a tan. That's a good color on you. That wraps our eight uncanny animals of the Galapagos. For other fun animal facts, watch more Awesome 8. All right, great students. This is what you've been waiting for. The great Kurt Names of Fame time is here. From Mrs. Chavez's class, TK Arturo Espinoza. From K. Moore's class, kindergarten, Jasmine Torres Aquino. Miss Williams' class, kindergarten, Hope Cole and Yarexi Velasco. Mrs. Leisure, first grade, Giselle Garcia. Mrs. Kennington, second grade. Cashlyn Minavong. Miss Fort Neal, second grade. Aaron Tamayo and Julia Zavala. 
Ms. Mackin's class, third grade, Calvin Yang. Mrs. Merchant's class, third grade, Karen Hernandez and Nick Arsino. Ms. Hanlon's class, third and fourth grade, Michael Garcia. Mr. Minima's class, fourth grade, Eliana Mahika and Alexander Aquino. Mrs. Schultz's class, fifth grade, Yair Gomez and Angie Navarro. Mr. Comier, sixth grade, Ms. Mr. Richard Redwine. And then Ms. Matisse's class, sixth grade, Isabel Navarro Trujillo. Well, students, these are the names of fame. And this week, I'm doing something special. One day this week, I'm going to order pizza and deliver it to all of their houses for being on the name of fame. So you want to make sure, students, this week that you show up on time, that you participate, and that you show great leadership. That is the names of fame. Can we give everyone a round of applause? Woo! Hello, hello, hello. This is Mr. Brookings again coming to you, celebrating the fact that we are all here. And I am now being joined by one of the great champions of the great Kirk Elementary School. This is King Aaron Flowers. Can you guys celebrate him? Woo! Now, now, Aaron, talk to me. You are in whose class? Whose class? Oh, you're in Miss Rogers' class. And so tell me what you love about her class. Come on, man. Did you guys hear that? He does the problems right, and he's the first one done. How about you? Doing your best every day. Now, what does she give you when you do good? She gives you points. Oh, she gives you points. Every student should want those points, Mr. Aaron. So King Aaron, tell me tell me something that you want to encourage every student to do. Oh, he said everyone be good in class and everyone stay like a lion. So now I'm gonna let him do the lion's chant, say it real big like a king. Here we go. Ready? Go. L, we are leaders in the making. Give me I. I, we are independent thinkers. Give me oh, we have outstanding character. Give me N, we never give up. Give me S, we serve our communities. Can you help me celebrate King Aaron Flowers as we go to class? Students, remember to roar like a lion. All right.